weeks to recover all my client's property. Further legal actions will be considered in due course in relation to the substantial devaluation and loss of assets damages claims. The devaluation loss right now for those thousands of victims of their HCN value is over $136 million, resulting in a staggering depreciation of my client's assets. At the date of seizure, the value of one HCN was $24 in HDO, the equivalent of $24. As a result of the seizures and later the indictment, the HCN coin has plummeted and has been fluctuating around $14 HDO USD per coin recently. This doesn't account for other customers or any customer's stablecoin HDO holdings or reserve losses as a result of the seizure. That's separate, and it's immense. These total losses are catastrophic. This is a, as a direct result of the Department of Justice action. Can you imagine the impact on my clients? These individuals who are not U.S. residents and who are living beyond the borders of the United States, many of whom are not native English speakers, have expressed bewilderment and actual fear regarding U.S. government actions, and in many cases, fear of adverse repercussions from their government, including persecution, threats, and serious human rights breaches. A significant portion of my clients have experienced unjustified controls and restrictions on their financial freedom from their own government. Financial freedom, which we here in the USA would see as normal, is actually a novelty for others and is not a lifeline, but their only way of securing their financial future free from opposition and unwarranted, unwarranted control. Therefore, we have proposed to the court a process that safeguards their personal information. The exchange, which has stringent Know Your Customer compliance procedures, does not onboard U.S. residents and is not a U.S.-based company. It is therefore my understanding that the Himalaya Exchange is fully compliant with all United States laws. My clients, moreover, lack any personal connection to the defendants. But some do share a common ideology with the defendants. They both love.